Hello quad folks. Today's video is a uh, recent visit from my friend uh, an archivist Shea Drory uh, back in September and uh, at that time I had a uh, a B harness uh, for a 1200 that I had taken off of a, a parts machine but I had never gotten around to installing it on the 1200 here in the shop and uh, Shay, uh, <laughs> he wanted to do something and so I said well why don't we just do that and as it turns out he was wanting to get his hands in a wiring harness anyway because he has a uh, a 1200 over at his shop in uh, Israel that he was looking to upgrade but he didn't he didn't think he had quite enough confidence to you know to tackle it and I said well we'll just do mine and I'm not worried if it don't work you know I'll just fix the thing you know I've seen probably forgot more of them things than most people have seen and that's no exaggeration and uh, you know it's uh, uh, one thing to look at a book or have somebody else tell you how to do something uh, I guess you can get a little bit out of that to a point but when you actually do it yourself and get your hands in it and your brain and you know you really you get involved at a at a very basic level you know you really learn uh, a lot of practical uh, know-how by actually doing it and I'm really glad to be able to provide a uh, a place where somebody can come and uh, and gain some of that experience. You know, there just just not any place around that I know of anymore that that you can do that. And uh, I I really don't care. You know, I tell people that come here I said take the whole thing apart <laughs> that's how you learn <laughs> put it back together take it apart put it back together and if you do that enough you'll <laughs> you'll learn how, <laughs> how it all fits and I just kind of stay in the background and let folks go at it and, and just rip into things and you know, I'm not worried about anybody breaking anything because it's nothing that can't be fixed. And that's how you learn. You learn by doing. You know, so I'm, I'm really, uh, uh, really happy to be able to, you know, provide that to archive folks that want to learn. Basically, it was a 1200, and uh, uh, with the overhead, and I added a sidecar, and, uh, and then I got a C, and uh, added the. Uh, 12 volt power supplies, uh, like a 2000 or a C, and did away with my cube uh, power supply. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now I've got a divider here that a B would have, and I've got a B control panel, and I've got a, a B wiring harness. And I've also got a 
also got a B power supply tub that we have to switch out when we change the harness. And, uh, so basically, uh, uh, I started out with just a, a 1200 that was NTSC. And then I got a uh, universal color pack. And that made it uh, PAL, NTSC, and CCAM. Only I modified this wiring harness to work at the time because I didn't have a B harness. And then I did the uh, PAL M, the Brazilian job, and I put that up here. This is a PAL M sink generator, PAL M monitor, PAL M vector scope. So this mm -hmm. is all PAL M. And then this is NTSC PAL and CCAM. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, yeah, basically that's what we need to do is switch out the harness and switch out this tub and the control panel. And I'm going to sit here and watch you do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's flip it around. Let's see, maybe just uh, if we roll it straight out mm -hmm. grab uh, under there. Yeah, just pull straight out. Everything is off. I can just turn it up, take it off. All right. So that's one. This goes to Aha. Okay. First oops. Phillips right. the screwdriver. Second roller. That's a big black handle right there. Sounds good enough for a cow. All There may be a couple of uh, coaxes yeah. running over to the RCA. Should be a uh, composite sink and subcarrier, I think. Maybe a video in.
They're not labeled. You no. All right. We'll know no. which one goes where. Or do you want to label yeah. them? No. I don't know where they go. Some of my add-on work yep. that I added on for the uh, 1012 color tech, mm -hmm. and well, it works. But it's always nice to have a real thing whenever you can. stuff's going to have to come off. What? All that stuff up there is going to have to come off. Why? Before the harness? The uh, divider that goes between here, mm -hmm. the sidecar and the main frame, there's a yeah. divider that goes in there. And in order to put it in, you have to take that apart mm -hmm. and put it in and then put it back together. Right. So that means everything has to come off. Everything. Well, actually, it's just a computer. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing that has to come off. Everything else can stay. All right, we can do that. That's easy. Probably, probably yes. not. computer on the side. Anything else? What do you say? Oh, looks like that's all. So far so good. Yep. Alright. suggestion would be mm -hmm. uh, I was not suggesting you're giving me instructions I'm uh, doing this but. okay <laughs> well uh, first I would uh, disconnect all the power connections and take out the power supply tub then uh, I would uh, remove the front control panel and then 
I would unscrew all the coaxes and remove all the coaxes and just lay them over to the side because we'll put them back and uh, then you know it'll be clean out cleaned out enough to where you can work the wiring harness out of the frame yeah so I would do the t power supply tub first and then the front control panel and then all the coaxes Okay. And then, then the uh, harness swap. Okay. So we need uh, flat screwdriver and clips. And I'm going to sit down and watch you do it. <laughs> you don't need me. <laughs> you're going to sit down and watch me screw up a perfectly good machine. No, you're not. That's okay. One way or the other, I got a flight to catch. <laughs> All right. That's one. That's two. That's her. Three. All right. Do I need to mark them or will you remember which one goes where? No, no, no need to mark anything. Alright. That power strip there, mm -hmm. that big barrier this one? terminal that you're unscrewing, yeah. that thing works in threes. Groups of three. And you see that first group there with the black wires, mm -hmm. that's the lines. And then the next group with all the white wires, mm -hmm. that's the neutrals. And then on down below that is the greens or the, the grounds, the chassis earth grounds. Mm -hmm. And that's basically all it is. If you can think three and count to five, you can... You don't even need to worry about labeling wires as long as you can see black, white, and green. So that's one. Yeah, see that's AC to the uh, power strips. Yeah. Yeah. That's all that is. Now, the... Uh, this is going to... The barrier strip on the right, that's the DC. 20, the one The one on the right, one. yeah, that's All the right. DC 24 volt distribution. And it's on a loom, you know, a big long piece of Bakelite. So there's no way you can get that out of order because it all comes out as one piece. But now you see I added a couple wires there onto that. This one? Yeah, and the other one. That's the add-on that the B needed or a B harness would have mm -hmm. that the 1200 did not have. And I think that was for the uh, the relay voltage to the uh, the uh, ten twelve universal color tech. Where does the get? Where does it get the power from? Of this? Uh, the AC, you mean? Yeah. That big round plug in the corners where the power yes. comes in and it goes. Yeah. No, how does it get to the strip? These these three? It goes in and it goes through the breaker. Okay. From the breaker, it goes to those fuses there. On the panel, and from those fuses, it goes over to those lugs on the uh, strip. And if you notice uh, what's written beside those fuses, F6, F9, F5. Yeah, right? yeah, that goes right over to that big connecting Here. strip. 
Now that's no. DC. It's AC. Wait, no, what I'm asking is how does the AC get to this strip? What is it? it goes through that round connector to the breaker on the mm -hmm. front. Right. Comes back through the fuses. And those Excuse three me. at the bottom, I think. There's two white ones and that yellow one. These? No. Oh, you see those two white fuses and then that one yellow fuse? Yeah. 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 And uh, I'm not close enough to see, but I think two of those orange ones. Uh, may also feed that. Mm, okay, I need a... Mm -hmm. So this is out. Mm -hmm. This is out, and yeah, I need to take this one off. Oh, and these, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. And that's more power. That's uh, uh, one's a power strip, and the other one may be the uh, guide servo motor. You know, the little motor that moves the uh, tape guide. Mm -hmm. It's connected down there too on one of those. Yeah. This whole side out? Yeah. Loosen it up enough yeah. to where you can lift that out as one piece. So this is disconnected. Yep. All right. Now we need to take 
these screws out, right? No. No. Nope. They can stay in, and the whole thing will slide out. It'll slide out. Okay. From the front. All right. You have a flat screwdriver? Yeah, on the other side. I'll bring it. screwdriver under there uh. pry there there and then I'll pull it out <laughs> there 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 we go Sayonara one go alright Say front panel. Yep. Uh, do you want to vacuum all this? Mm, no. All right. Well, let's see. Yeah, we might ought to vacuum that. That's a bit much. Well, that one stays, that's the dummy yeah. plug, but the one to the left of it does mm -hmm. need to come off, that small one. What's a dummy plug for? 
If you had an editor option, then there would be a cable where that dummy plug is that would be, would go down to the editor. And I think the dummy plug moves down to the editor. I can't remember whether it's terminated or not. It seemed like you put the dummy plug down there and then you put the cable between them. Removing all the coaxials. Well, a good place would be right here. A nice handy place. They all gotta come out. Why is this one labeled color kill? Um, is that a little four, four pin plug? The, uh, if the color tech detects the absence of color burst, mm -hmm. then it sends a uh, signal to the proc amp. And it cuts the color off. As the burst is made in the color tech, you see the subcarrier goes in to the color tech, and then the burst comes out and it goes in to the proc amp from the color tech.
All of them, right? Uh, those going to the head channels can those, stay. Yeah. All right. I don't this think one, you need. No, this one's not going to the head channel. Yeah. All right. I, I don't think they're going to be in the way. But all the other ones there, yeah. they, yeah. I think they intertwine at some point or the other mm -hmm. with the harness. Going to a panel underneath the scope. These scopes are in the way.
says intake error signal. Do we need to take this out as well? Um, that's uh, between the Amtech and the Color Tech. Yep. There we go. Down to the uh, velocity compensator. Screw all the the harness yeah. connections and I don't know if we got all the for these uh, connectors on the audio. Mm -hmm. The ones on the back are easy to get to, but to get to those four, let's see, do we need to get to those? Do four? we need to get them? I don't, no, I, I don't, don't think, think so. we do. No, so this is all on the back, and the four up front will stay. Where right. they are. Did we get everything? No, the uh, all these round connectors right. they have to come off. Right. Getting close, pretty close. power DC power hmm. pull that out and just lay it over there you don't have to unhook yeah. that in hmm. that's actually reversed I think the uh, the top should go to the top and the bottom to the bottom I think they were reversed or that is the top uh, should go to the signal system and the bottom should go to the inner sink. It's not yeah. wrapped around anything. Nope, it's not. I mean, it's not in the way. Yeah. This just goes from the top to the bottom, but now uh, that can stay too if it's not wrapped around. Well, it's any. not, but it's just going around here. In the way, well, yeah. might take it off, make things easier. That's the head switching signals from the signal system to the velocity compensator.
Okay, and that's power, and that's that on this side. monitor cables are these done. These two? Yeah. This one? And that's two. Okay. Now, this is the tricky one. Okay. This is the pressure switch. Mm -hmm. So we got white to blue and white, red to white and green, brown to white and violet, blue to gray, and green to white and yellow. White and yellow. All right, there we go. Down here, this is uh, to the uh, vacuum, mm -hmm. the vacuum and pressure switch. That connector, that AC, is the uh, the power to the guide mm -hmm. servo motor. Okay, so that's done. I think it's ready to come out. I think that's all. Really? I think it is. Nope. Got a little. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, transport. Yeah. That's the power going to that one. It's just a bit on the way right now. The uh, relays are still hooked up. The relay and the guide. Chassis. We got uh, three connectors on the back of the relay. This one. And then you got a connector on the guide motor, and then you have a little round connector up on the guide amp. Yeah. One. And we got more. Mm -hmm. and that's two. And there's and three. Where's this going to? Relay control. That's power.
open so there's yeah. AC going into here. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's probably what he meant on the 2000 that he'd have to replace. Probably yeah, and I just got done replacing it on this on this new uh, the B harness. Yeah. Okay. Do we need this one? No. Shouldn't it? Okay. And this is connected to here. So how this goes. Oh. The rubber belt clump of this is a pain. Let's see if I can get it out without ripping it. Five hundred is good. Yeah. Then you'll have four hundred and ninety-nine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is out. There's mm -hmm. three connectors on the back of that relay control chassis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's those are four. <laughs> that's one. Who gets? Screw that little uh, little metal brace. Which one? This one, right? This one? Yeah. Instead of trying to fish that around it, it might be easier just to unscrew that. No, that's not. Like now, at least that's not much. Because it's wrapped around different things. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 